Although trading is closed on April 27, 2020, go over calls in just a minute. I um, was busy all weekend, didn't look at the market, didn't have any internet until just before today's close, so I don't have the usual hands-on feel, but let's do the best we can. Call for the pattern with the early low, rally typically into the final hour, that worked. Um, tomorrow's pattern also has the early low. We said unless we get up smartly, we had these targets. Here's what we said. Lower target, unless we gap up smartly, it should print. We gapped up smartly, so according to the rule, falls killed before the open. This top target we add to the list. Bottom target should print 95% of the time, but this is one of the 5%, so we'll cross that one off. We'll see how likely this one is to print in just a minute. During the day, MJT gave a sell signal, just means there is a lower target and support under it. Target printed immediately, support held. This rally came too soon, called for a retracement. That's all played out. This still could count as a C equals A, could actually, it's pretty close to this high could actually go slightly higher. I don't need this one anymore, that's for But um, if we go a lot higher than this count, this relationship isn't going to hold. I'm hoping it will. The same principle applies here. This is a, a valid break. It's held for a few days. This is the amount we went over the line. And before trading over this line significantly, we should travel that much under it. That's um, quite a ways down. If you go significantly over this line, then the pattern fails. We also have a sell from the VXO, the old volatility index. And we have lower targets. So how likely are these targets to print? Well, this summer we're going to mark 18 years of the system. Well, I do have some failed targets. We get about 650 targets a year. Not every target generates a trade. When there are ones that don't print, they tend to cluster. So I just added up the number of weeks in which there were any unfilled targets. Every target from 2002 to uh, through and including 2008 printed from 2015 till the end of last year. Only one year had any weeks with unfilled targets. Two of these years, only one week did any. So in 10 of these 18 years, every single target printed. So there's over 900 weeks here. And what do we have? 10, 17, 24 weeks with any unfilled targets. And don't forget, it's part of the system that when you have a major change in trend, you're supposed to leave an unfilled or failed target. So the odds are pretty good that at some point we're going to see this number and this one too. Doesn't have to be soon, but I think it will be. Tomorrow's pattern has the early low, doesn't mean you won't gap up. Had a day long rally, couldn't manage a close over the midday high. Unless we overtake that high promptly, we should see lower prices sometime tomorrow. Still think the upside here is limited. Don't, doesn't mean it's over yet, but I think it's limited. The break under the line is invalid. We have significantly lower targets. An old volatility index, VSO. Sell signal as a reverse from the position under its lower Bollinger Band. Early low tomorrow doesn't necessarily mean we won't see a higher price, but I don't think we see a lot of higher prices before the decline starts, and that's today's call.